Hello future people, Jason the Bruce here with Getting Tabled, and today I'm going to start the unboxing oh, of a mountain. So here we are. I've actually been holding onto this for a little while. This is my pledge from the Dungeons and Lasers Kickstarter, Volume 2. Um, I had held onto it for a couple of reasons. A, I wasn't actually 100% sure what I wanted to do with it, other than an unboxing, obviously. Uh, and I reached out to our Patreon to kind of see what they would like to see from us. I'm going to start with just a simple unboxing for now. We're going to go through a few boxes. We're not going to cover everything in this video. This will happen over a series of videos. Let's head down and let's start with the dragon, shall we? So, I'm going to start with Oregon. So this is very much your oriental dragon. Uh, it's very much the dragon that you see in a lot of Chinese mythology, so on and so forth. Um, now, I want to start by prefacing that I didn't open this. This is how it arrived. Um, I, like I said, I have actually been holding on to these for a little while, uh, but I just hadn't had the chance to do anything with them. Um, I have checked, there's no missing pieces, that's the only thing that I've done. So. The box itself actually shows off some of the model quite nicely, otherwise it's just your usual nice full color instructions here I kind of like the companies that do this where it's showing you the colored is the new pieces that you're adding it looks fairly straightforward to build honestly uh, which for a model like this you wouldn't necessarily expect but I suspect that I'm gonna be completely in love with this I had the choice of which dragons that I wanted um, and I chose the two that I kind of felt was going to be the hardest for me to get my hands on, otherwise. So, we do have a nice decorative base there. Lots of really nice details in the wings. Like, the detail on this is all nice and crisp. I think I've mentioned before that I really do like this lighter coloured plastic that Archon uses. I don't really know why, there's just something about it. It also shows up under camera really nicely. Which definitely helps. And yeah, what you're looking at here, this is two sprues that's going to make that model. And it's not small, it's not a small model. But the detail, as you can see, is amazing. The other dragon that I chose to get was Thalder the Defiler. And I got this one for a couple of reasons. Number one, Dracoliches are just cool. Uh, and number two, honestly, it's the best looking Dracolich I've seen in a long time. I think from memory when we covered this on the podcast, I think this is the one that I said was my favourite. Again, some nice detail showing you the hints of what's in the box. 152 centimet millimetres tall. So that means that he's the taller of the two. No loose pieces in this one. A nice detailed base there. I find that interesting. That picture is not actually the finished product. Whereas if you go back to the original one, it is the same. I suspect that this is an earlier version of the sculpt. Because that, that's not the same pose at all, not even vaguely close. Is that even the same dragon? Okay, so again, we'll start with the one with the base on it. 
Looks a little bit more full than the previous one. Not that the other one looked empty, but... There's a lot of detail in these. Absolutely gorgeous. And on both sides, as you would expect. Like I said, Dr Draculiches are just cool. They're just all kinds of cool. So there's your spire. The other half of the skull. Like, seriously. Look at the details on the wings. Like it's all the broken sinew. It's just gorgeous. Coming up next, Jerry the Jello. This is just so cool. The build on this one, I suspect, is going to be quite simple. Because essentially all you're building is a box. It's just a box with detail in it. So the base on this one is far more simple. One, two, three, four, five sides. Because I guess you don't really need one for the base. And then it's just all of the pieces that are hanging out. This one is one that you'll have to be a little bit careful with when you're building, I suspect. Mainly because if you don't put it together the right way, you might find that you get stuck. So, I'm going to leave it there for part one. But in part two, we're finally going to start exploring the dungeons. Thank you very much for checking out this video. If you're enjoying the content of this channel, please like and subscribe. If you're in a position to do so, please check out patreon.com slash getting tabled. You receive early access to at least 80% of all videos that we put out and you get access to the video edition of all of our podcasts the day that they're uploaded. If you'd like to check us out on social media, facebook.com slash getting tabled is the most active. We also have a Discord server. You can email our team at gettingtabled at gmail.com if you're on either Twitter or Instagram you can find us at gettingtabled and until next time play more